Hi everybody, this is Maureen Wong for yournextstamp.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how I made this hanging snowflake easel card. It's really simple and it's using a bunch of dies and a stamp from yournextstamp.com. Okay, let's get started. To start off, I have a couple pieces of light blue cardstock. I'm going to take the Polaroid die from the InstaLove Polaroid die set and I'm going to run this through my machine with both of these pieces of cardstock. Since I have my machine out, I'm just going to get all of my die cutting out of the way right now. So that's one. And here's the other one. Okay. Now I also have a snowflake. This one is from the Warm Winter Wishes die set. And I've got some glitter coated cardstock from Doodlebug, and I'm going to cut this out twice also. And finally, I have the must-have border die set one. This is the zigzag die, or I guess it could be called a rickrack die. And I'm going to also cut that out of the same glittered cardstock. I'm going to be using this as the inside stopper for the easel. I'm going to pin and poke that out through the ejection hole. Okay, and here is my glittery die cut. Okay, I put my machine away, and now continuing on, I have another piece of that same light blue cardstock. This one is cut at 4 inches by 8.5 inches, and I've already scored it at 4 and a quarter and folded. Now what we're going to do is take one of our Polaroid die cuts, and it might be a little hard to see, so let me actually use the die for you. You're going to center it on the front, and I'm going to take a pencil and mark this inner edge of the die cut. I'm going to mark with a little light pencil line, and I'm going to score on that line and be right back. Okay, you can see here's the pencil line and I have scored it and folded it and this is the base of our easel card. Now I'm going to take an eraser and just get rid of that pencil line because that is going to show. Okay, next I'm taking the stamp set Quintin. This is um, from our newest release. And I'm going to use the sentiment especially for you. I'm just using Versafine Onyx Black Ink. I'm going to stamp that on one of the Polaroid die cuts. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little piece of thread 
and I have my two snowflake die cuts. What I'm going to do is take a piece of, this is actually beading thread, it's really thin and nice to use for this where you don't really want it to show up too much but you could use any kind of regular sewing thread or dental floss or fishing line or whatever you want to use. It doesn't have to be a real heavy weight because it's only holding up these small little snowflakes. So this beading thread will do just fine. Make sure it's longer than the width of the Polaroid die cut. And what I'm going to do is sandwich this between those snowflakes and I'm going to take some tacky glue and let me move this thread out of the way. I'm going to put glue all over the die cuts and I'm going to put that thread in and try to kind of center it a little bit, stick that in with my finger and then I'm going to sandwich that together Actually, that's not the way it goes. Let's see. There we go, that way. And you just want to hold them together until they're glued tight and that thread is sandwiched between them. One thing I want you to notice is that I didn't run the thread. I don't know if you can see that. I didn't run the thread through the center of the snowflake. I ran it through a little bit more of the top portion and that's so that it'll hang nicely in the Polaroid die cuts and it won't be twisting. If you have it in the middle it could tend to twist around and I don't want that effect so I'm going to put it to the top side of the dies and when I attach it into my Polaroid die cut it's not going to tend to um, twirl around. Okay, now we're going to take that other Polaroid die cut and I'm going to do the same thing with my glue. Sorry if you can hear my dogs in the background. I don't know what they're barking at. And I'm going to go ahead and take my die cut snowflake and kind of center that in the middle of them and put my two Polaroid die cuts together. Let's add a little extra glue there. Really make sure it's stuck down where those threads are. And if it's a little taut, that's fine. If it's a little loose, that's fine as well. You can see it does tend to swing around, but it's not going to go twirling all the way around. It's just going to swing a little, and actually I like that effect. And then what we're going to do is go ahead and take a scissors and snip off the extra thread outside of the die cut. Now we bring our folded card back in and hopefully you can see that folded edge. We're going to line up our Polaroid so this inside edge of the Polaroid die cut is right up against that fold line. So you're not going to see that fold line when it goes up and down. So I'm going to take some adhesive and we're just attaching the bottom section of the Polaroid die cut so don't put glue on these edges because that's going to stick it all the way down and you're not going to get an easel card. So you can see I'm lining the inside of the die cut up with the fold. And there we go. It's stuck down now. And the last step that we have is taking our 
zigzag die. And it's a little too long, so I'm going to cut it down with the scissors where I want it. And then I'm just going to take my glue again. I'm trying not to put too much glue on there. We don't want it all seeping out. Okay, and I'm going to figure out where I want my easel to stand up. And then I'm going to glue my zigzag die right in front of that so it acts as a stopper. And there you go. Let me see if I can show you this. It's a hanging snowflake easel card. And of course, like all easel cards, it folds flat for mailing. And when your recipient gets it, they can just open it up. And oops, my zigzag moved a little bit because the glue's not dry yet. But you get the idea. And isn't that nice? And I'll have some still shots on the blog so that you can see it a little better because it's not showing up that well on camera. But thank you very much for watching. Please visit yournextstamp.com for all of these products and more.